this is it the Manfredi multi-hertz induction casting machine this is the kind of modern technology that allows us to cast in a special atmosphere notice that big hatch cover there's a big vacuum chamber an induction coil for heat and a large swing arm that spins fast enough to cause the metal to fill the void but first I have to remove the parts used for platinum casting and replace them with those made for working with gold that means another larger coil a different swing arm and of course a different crucible next we make sure the parts move smoothly we make sure the controls move smoothly a final check and we're ready here's our ingredients 80% gold approximately 20% very fine aluminum and this little teeny tiny bit of platinum family to help it melt I'm going to put the aluminum on the bottom gold platinum right Shutting it off. When I turn it back on, the vacuum will come on, pull that argon out, and then refill again. Setting the heat. Here comes the heat. Wow, that's melting fast. Wow, that's really melting fast. Wow, it's just not going liquid. Now we might be starting to get there. It's a little higher than normal 18 karat melts. Letting the air back in the chamber. I've cut these off at the screws. Actually, they kind of snapped off, so it's still a little brittle. 
But I've got two intact discs here with a hole. Looks, looks like it's complete. I don't have flashing. I do have a generous button that i got to clean up and cast here for the next run. But uh, test one is a success. Now, it looks gray now because we haven't taken the oxides off the outside, but look where I cut it. Can you see the purple there? Anyway, we'll have closer images of this later, but we have success on our first shot. Before I get carried away with what went right, let's look at what went wrong. I cast way too hot, which created this shrinkage porosity you see here. The metal just looks strange when molten, more like a smoothie than water. Looking at the oxide coating, I did not get as much air replaced with argon as I should.